Nuclear Energy vs. Fossil Fuels by Lamine, Jacob, and Jake In a world in which carbon dioxide emissions are steadily increasing due to the number of people on the planet, the services delivered per person, the energy needed per service, and the amount of CO2 produced by each unit of energy, the best solution to climate change and increasing carbon emissions is to have a system that does not produce as much greenhouse gas in the process. Nuclear energy does just that. Carbon dioxide levels are much lower when producing nuclear energy, and the usage of nuclear energy will help sustain our world so that flooding and climate change can become a fear of the past. The summarized mission of Fieldston is to develop individuals who are competent to change their environment to greater conformity with moral ideals. Nuclear energy is the environmental change that the world needs. If students were to simply learn the truth instead of listening to the rumors about how dangerous and unsafe nuclear energy, and especially its radioactivity is, the world would be much more developed. Nuclear energy has the ability to power cars, and entire cities. We wanted to learn about how the public viewed nuclear energy. So in order to do this, we conducted interviews. What are your thoughts on nuclear energy? I hate it. It sucks. Uh, Chernobyl, the whole thing blew up. Everyone died. It was it's a big disaster. Um, I think also in like Japan at some point that happened. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like that. Do you think that we should use like alternative sources of energy? Uh, yeah, solar panels. And it sounded good. Um, but then you hear about all the dangers of it. Uh, what happens if there's an accident? It can affect not just uh, the community around, but a very, very large you know, community around uh, wherever the nuclear power plant is, and this has happened. So I think I went from feeling that this was a good answer at one point when I first heard and read about it, uh, to being afraid of it. And I think that's still the case right now. Um, I've heard it's really dangerous. And like, that was really I mean, I've heard it's really dangerous. It's killed a lot of people. And I don't stand for it. How do you guys feel about nuclear energy? <laughs> Despite popular opinion, nuclear energy is not inherently unsafe or dangerous to the environment or humans. Working at a nuclear power plant is extremely safe and there is an estimated one fatal injury per 100,000 workers. When it comes to nuclear waste, there is a common misconception that the waste is dangerous and cannot be contained. In actuality, 95% of all nuclear waste has a short enough lifespan that it can decay on site and become harmless. And for that other 5%, it is contained in different protective materials. When properly contained, this waste will have no effects on the environment or the people, animals, or plants that inhabit it. Nuclear energy still has impacts on the environment and risks when both mining and operating the power plants. Many accidents at nuclear power plants originated from poor maintenance and care, including Chernobyl and Fukushima. These incidents are rare and avoidable and rarely cause immediate death. At Chernobyl, the nuclear core of a poorly designed and operated reactor exploded. 32 radiation workers died shortly after radiation exposure at Chernobyl, and an estimated 0.01% of cancer patients between 1986 and 2065 may be related to radiation from the Chernobyl accident. At Fukushima Daiichi, in spite of IAEA concerns, an older reactor was operating without proper safety precautions. No one has died from radiation poisoning at Fukushima. The basics of nuclear energy are quite simple, as it is released by splitting a uranium atom. The nucleus of an atom is made of protons and neutrons, and when the nucleus splits, it releases energy, nuclear energy, in the form of heat. Some neutrons are also released in the split, and they might split into other nuclei, releasing more heat and neutrons. This chain reaction is called nuclear fission. In addition, there is a process called nuclear fusion, which is a process of combining two or more different entities, compounds, atoms, or anything of the sort, into a new whole substance, which is shown in the picture. Fossil fuels, including coal, oil, and other gases, are primarily made of hydrocarbons. Lastly, fossil fuels, coal, oil, and other natural gases are the fossilized remains of the natural decay of dead plants and animals from millions of years ago, which explains their high carbon content. Unlike coal, nuclear energy does not produce any greenhouse gas, the leading cause of climate change and global warming. Nuclear energy has the highest capacity factor of any other energy source, meaning the nuclear power plants are producing maximum energy 92.5% of the year when natural gas and coal units are producing 1.5 to 2 times less during the year, and wind and solar panels producing maximum power 2.5 to 3.5 times less. One would need 2 to 4 coal plants to generate the same amount of electricity as one nuclear power factory. Nuclear fuel is also much more efficient as one pellet of nuclear fuel weighing 0.1 ounce 
yields the same amount of electricity as a ton of coal. Unfortunately, due to the ignorance of other solutions, thousands of coal miners die every year due to mining accidents, and both the public and miners are vulnerable to lung and heart effects from airborne pollutants. In 2005, the Ontario Medical Association estimated that air pollution costs the province more than $600 million per year in health care costs, as well as causing the premature death of thousands of Ontarians each year. On the other hand, an average of zero people die from nuclear energy-related causes. In the U.S., fracking helped to make the nation the world's top producer of gas since 2009, making it the largest source of energy used for electricity. Because of fossil fuels, 12.6 12.6 million Americans are exposed daily to toxic air pollution from oil and gas wells in processing plants and factories. Oil is especially dangerous for the environment due to how it is recovered through mountaintop removal. Oil and natural gases are unstable and are a harm to the environment. However, uranium, which is used for nuclear power, has a large density on Earth. Uranium can also be re- reprocessed and used again compared to fossil fuels, which are non-renewable. A solution to this issue is educating young people on the benefits of nuclear power because it has the potential to save our planet from climate change. Everyone needs to be educated on how past issues with nuclear power are easily avoidable and preventable. However, nothing is being done and people are scared of nuclear power from these mistakes. Nuclear power is a safe and efficient way to get energy and should be implemented as soon as possible. Using nuclear energy would help mitigate the effects of climate change and change many lives for the better. We advise our peers to educate themselves to get rid of the stigma surrounding nuclear energy. People need to understand nuclear power. Many people have very negative preconceived notions about nuclear power. Many people think it's a dangerous way to get energy and that it's only hurting our planet. Nuclear power is only dangerous when power plants and waste are contained and operated improperly. Nuclear power is extremely safe and very effective when compared to other methods of creating electricity. We need to learn the facts about nuclear power, and through education, can we grow as a society and leave behind a better carbon footprint. Thank you.